How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I'm going to talk about a very common question that I get all the time both here on YouTube and also on Instagram and it goes pretty much like this. Hey Daniel, I'm an iCloud Plus subscriber. I pay every single month for more iCloud storage for maybe 50 gigs or 200 gigs or maybe even 2 terabytes and I have a ton of free storage in iCloud but my iPhone storage is always full. I'm always getting that message that my iPhone storage is full to free up some storage and I don't know what to do because I'm already paying, I'm already spending money on iCloud storage and there's a ton of available storage there, so how can this happen? So, in this video, I'm gonna explain you this whole thing. I'm gonna talk about the difference between iPhone storage and iCloud storage and of course, how everything ties up together and naturally how to solve this problem, how to actually optimize your iPhone storage using the iCloud storage the correct way, right? So let's begin and let's understand first the difference between iPhone storage and iCloud storage. So first of all, iPhone storage. And as the name suggests, that's the physical storage inside an iPhone and it may be 64 gigs, 128, 256, 512 or even a terabyte of internal storage. In this storage right here, it can't be upgradable, so you can't buy more. So if you buy an iPhone with 128 gigs of internal storage, it'll die with 128 because as I said, it's a physical storage, so you can't upgrade it, you can't buy more, not on the iPhone. So it's always fixed, it's always w the same when you open out of the box until the end. All right, so that's very important. The other storage we're talking about is iCloud storage, and iCloud storage is an Apple service. So it's a service Apple provides all of their users. And by default, when you buy an iPhone or an iPad, for example, you get five gigabytes of iCloud storage, that's free. But of course you can pay more, and this iCloud storage is in fact upgradable, so this one you can in fact pay to have more. So you can pay to have 50 gigs, 200 gigs, or even two terabytes, because this is a service. This is not a physical storage on a device, this is a service, therefore you can pay more to have more. And what's extremely important for you to understand here is that not everything that's on your iPhone can be sent to iCloud. You can't simply throw everything that's on your iPhone to iCloud. So that's why even if you have two terabytes of iCloud storage, maybe you may be in this situation where your iPhone storage is full because as I said, not everything can be transferred to iCloud. Some things will have to stay here on the iPhone, no matter how much storage you have here in the cloud. But the good news is some file types can in fact be transferred, can be sent from the iPhone to the cloud, therefore freeing up a ton of storage. And those file types are pretty much two. Those are the two main ones, photos and documents. So you can in fact send all your photos, all your videos, and all your documents from your phone to the cloud, therefore freeing up a ton of storage right here on your iPhone and fixing this whole situation, fixing this whole problem. But as I said, those are the two main ones. You can't transfer everything from the phone to the cloud. For example, you can't transfer apps. Unfortunately, we can't throw your apps from your iPhone to your iCloud storage because it just doesn't work. So as I said, some file types can be transferred, some can't. So Let's go ahead and take a look at all of this that I'm talking about in action and let me show you how you can actually optimize your iPhone storage by sending all of those photos, videos and documents from the phone to the cloud and freeing up a ton of storage. Let's go. So let's start talking about iPhone storage. So let's tap on settings and then scroll down and tap on general and then iPhone storage as you can see. Let it load. And as you can see, I have a ton of free storage on my iPhone internal storage. And that's because all my photos, videos, and documents are in iCloud. As I mentioned, those are the two main file types that we can actually send 
to iCloud and free up on the iPhone. So as you can see, I don't have photos right here and that's because my photos are there. So they're not taking up my iPhone storage. Same thing with my drive. I don't have documents or anything like that. All you can see here is my music and my apps, which as I said, unfortunately can't be transferred to the cloud. So as you can see here, most of my storage is taken up by apps like Free Fire and other apps, but most of my iPhone storage is free. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my iCloud storage. So then you understand the whole thing. If we tap here on my name and as you can see, Apple ID, so tap there, then you're going to tap on iCloud right there and then manage storage. So tap there, manage storage, let it load. Sometimes it takes a while, like 10 seconds or more even. I don't know why it takes so much time, but it does. But as you can see, here we go. So iCloud Plus, as you can see, I am an iCloud Plus subscriber. I have 200 gigabytes of iCloud storage and pretty much all of my storage is full. As you can see, I have 196 gigs. That's pretty much all of it. And that's due to those two guys, photos, so my photos and videos, and iCloud Drive, so my documents. So pretty much 150 gigabytes of photos and videos, 40 gigabytes of documents. And as you can see, if I didn't do this, if I didn't throw all of those files in iCloud, my iPhone storage would be full, but it's not. As you guys just saw, it's pretty empty. So let me show you how you can do this, how you can throw your photos and videos here to iCloud and free up on the iPhone and same thing with your documents. It's super easy, guys. So let's come back, keep coming back, keep coming back to the first page of the settings. Now let's scroll all the way down, quite a while actually, until we see photos. So tap on photos. And right here, we just have to enable iCloud photos as you can see, enable it. So by doing this, all the photos will be uploaded to the cloud, which is what we want, photos and videos, of course. But the trick here is to enable optimized iPhone storage. So as you guys can see, I have this option selected, ticked this option right here, optimize iPhone storage. So as you can see, it'll say right here that full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with smaller device sized versions. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud anytime. What this is trying to say, trying to explain you, is we'll have the full definition photos, full quality photos and videos in the cloud. So that's why it takes up like 150 gigs in my case. And we'll have smaller version, low definition photos and videos on the iPhone. The exact same photos and videos, all of them, they'll be on the iPhone in a smaller size, in iCloud in full resolution. And you can view the photos and videos in full resolution on the iPhone on demand. So when you want to, if you go ahead and open up your photos, for example, when you want to, you can tap on any photo or any video and it will show you on demand in high resolution, in full resolution. So instead of taking up all the time, all your storage, it's gonna take up your iCloud storage and show you in full resolution on the iPhone, only in demand, only when you actually need it. So by doing this, by just enabling iCloud photos and taking optimized iPhone storage, you already have it done. Just wait after you enable this. It may take a few hours or even days for everything to be uploaded to the cloud and then your iPhone storage will be freed up, all right? And last but not least, of course, let me show you the documents. And for the documents, you're actually gonna need to go to the Files app. If you have a ton of documents like I do, this is extremely helpful. So go ahead, open the Files app. This is the first screen. And what you're gonna wanna do is transfer everything that's on my iPhone to iCloud Drive. Because everything that's on my iPhone is literally taking up your iPhone internal storage. And everything that's in iCloud Drive is in the cloud. So if you have something here on my iPhone, the easiest way to do it is by tapping on the three dots right there. And then you can tap on select the first option. And then you can select as many files as you want your documents. And then you can tap on the little files icon right there, the middle one, the, the folder icon, tap there. And then you can tap on iCloud Drive and then tap on copy to iCloud Drive. That's it. 
Uh, I'm not gonna copy right now because I already have those files there. So we just duplicate, it'll be kind of a mess, but all you have to do is tap on copy. As you can see, it will copy, not transfer. So after you copy all of those files from on my iPhone to iCloud Drive, you can simply do the same thing of select and then tap on all of them and then delete, all right? So after deleting all of those files, you'll in fact free up all of the space on the iPhone and it'll be only taking up your iCloud storage, all right? So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much the whole explanation, the theoretical explanation that I gave you in the beginning and the practical explanation that I'm giving you right now about how to actually do it. The difference between iPhone storage iCloud storage, and obviously how to optimize your iPhone storage by throwing everything that you can to the cloud, freeing you up, and actually take advantage of the iCloud Plus, of the subscription that you're paying, making your money worth, all right? So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.